man. Like, how how's it been like oh, for my you? 2020. Yeah. How's it been like for you? <laughs> I mean, I guess it's been like everybody's. Where like, the, the funny thing about 2020 is it didn't start. You know, like this nightmare that it is didn't really start at the beginning. It kind of started towards the beginning. So I think everybody does have this like fond memory of like January, February of being like, you know what, like this year's like gonna be pretty sick like i have a lot of good ideas i have like some sick plans like i'm gonna roll out this and so in the beginning of the year i was feeling good like i literally played a show on new year's eve like i i came into 2020 performing music and then i was like i'm about to hit the ground rolling working on this album i have this photo shoot sonic the hedgehog movie nice. came out i'm seeing that open at <laughs> night it was just like this beautiful thing and then it all came to a screeching halt and i was like okay I can't release stuff. And I think, like, I, I hate to be that person because I feel like a lot of people try to do the, like, silver lining for 2020, which has been, like, just a garbage mm. year. But the thing that I didn't expect to be, like, actually kind of cool for me was I couldn't release music, you know? Like, it didn't feel good to release music for me. I was like, I don't know how to play, you know, the shows. Like, I felt like if I was going to release uh, music, I wanted to be able to play shows, and I couldn't. Mm -hmm. And I have this whole, like, you know, we all have our own like a weird psychological prison that we that we've built for our, our own art and i feel like mine was like i i have to be able to tour if i'm going to be able to um release music mm -hmm. and since it was impossible i didn't release music and i think the like incubation period of not having to constantly release like i kind of just like let go a little mm -hmm. bit i was like you know what it's a wild year i'm just gonna go ahead and sit this one out as far as like releasing new music for me and i think as somebody that typically, like, you know, I was releasing music, like, every month I was releasing, like, a couple of songs. For somebody that was releasing that yeah. much, it was actually kind of a nice, like, step back for me. I think I've, I've like, worked some things out and, like, worked on some different mm -hmm. sounds. And I feel like I've kind of, it's been, like, a like a retreat to zero for yeah. me. But the year hasn't, the year, like, I, I, I think I posted something on, like, Line earlier. Where I was just like, yo, I can't believe 2020 is going to be over in a two days because I just, I don't remember any of yeah. it you know like yeah time just like sped up and it's kind of just been a flurry of me like also i should say half of the year i did take a step back from like like twitter and instagram which were like my my main things yeah. you know like that was where i was putting out all my videos right, and so right, right. i kind of like took a step back from that and so i wasn't seeing a lot of what was going on with other artists and like homies and friends and stuff like that and so i have like i i've I feel like I've crossed over into this weird barrier where I can't go back from. Not, not in a bad way. Like, I'm just kind of like, I've, my mind's been altered. <laughs> yeah. I like. Yeah. I mean, like, let's talk about that. I mean, I I did, I did notice that I think um, in the middle of the year, you, you posted something on your Instagram and, you know, I think you were just announcing, Oh yeah, I'm going to take a break. Um, how yeah. was that break like for you and was it helpful for you um to 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 sort of like you know step back and sort of like disconnect yourself i think the i think the break was actually it ultimately it was very helpful and i'm glad that i did mm -hmm. it in the beginning it was horrible mm. like like if i'm being honest like to be completely transparent it was like i'm gonna take a i think that everybody kind of does this thing where you as an artist you're like you know things have been you know if you're complaining to like a uh, complaining is kind of a negative term but if you're like opening up to like your friends your homies or your fans your audience and you're just like yo this is actually really tough for me mm -hmm. or i'm going through a hard time so maybe no more music or maybe no more art or maybe no more videos posted and everybody that does kind of care and like and supports you is kind of like um you know it take all the time you need like this is really good actually like we care about you like go you but like at the end of the at the end of the day, it's like that that conversation is happening on Instagram or it's happening on Twitter. And you know just as well as I do that if you take a break from like those things, they like bury you. Like mm -hmm. you're the algorithm is like, Oh, I think you're dead now. And they just like <laughs> take all your content and they like scoot it off to the side somewhere. Yep. And so it's like you you know the, the that there are some people that care, but you know firsthand that you're like, yo, if I take a step back, coming back is going to be like an uphill battle. And so I think that I did have to just finally come to terms with the fact that like, yo, I'm going to I'm going to take a I'm going to take a risk by leaving. And when I come back, it's going to be really difficult. But it's just I have to do this thing. Yeah. Like it's gonna it, like 
this is the sacrifice that I'm making. And so it was very difficult at first. And I think that artistically I floundered because being like in SoundCloud or being in LA, you're just around so many other artists. That's, that's how you kind of get your energy, you know, like you're seeing other people playing things, you're seeing other people experimenting with stuff and you're like, Oh cool. Maybe I can incorporate that in me. Mm. And I felt like I was kind of in like a, a vacuum for a little while. And so I started doing things that were very like non musical, arguably like, started like getting more into cooking or like I bought my first plant actually, which is like fine. I'm like looking at your like giant plant like behind you and like this yeah. video and like I just got like a baby plant. I'm like, okay, if I can like not kill this thing before Christmas, maybe that means I'm like a better person now. Maybe I'm like growing as an individual. And so it's like the plant's still alive and I'm like trying to just like relax a little because I did put a lot of like my my self worth and self importance into not even being good at music, but just being active, you know, mm. musically. And so I'm like, okay, today I'm not going to work on music or today I'm just going to like focus on just being a dude, like just being some guy in LA and see what happiness I can get out of that. And, and it's been, it's been rough. I think it's been rough doing that, especially towards the latter half of this year, because I mean, other things in the world that are pretty bad are going on. So I'm already kind of down about that. And so it was pretty rough, but I think. I think this is like, you know, when you feel like you've kind of gotten to a new level of like artistry, I feel like I'm at a new level of artistry where I'm definitely more it, like uh, I'm more observant of what like the inward, like I'm like looking in more so than looking without at everybody else and like what everybody else is doing yeah. and trying to figure out what it is I want to do. 